Hey, man, and Savannah, yeah, we met up with the cast and the director in the backyard of the Toretto House. The Toretto House, for those not familiar with the movies, is the home of Don Toretto. Don Toretto, played by Vin Diesel, and his sister Mia, played by Jordana Brewster. It's also a place that uh, plays a significant role in the franchise, a place where the group comes together to barbecue and to give thanks for all that they have. And the cast considers themselves much more than co-stars. They consider themselves very much a family and all suffered a huge loss when a member of their family, Paul Walker, died while making the movie. I love that boy so much. I just can't talk without cracking, you know. Sorry. Jordana, you, of course, uh, play his wife and had such close connection to him throughout the films. How did you process and deal with the grief that you were feeling? I, I don't think there's, I, I have, I'm still sort of processing it, and I don't think it's something any of us will ever get over. He was the most wonderful, light, beautiful spirit ever, and um, he'll be forever missed. You know, I presented the first movie, the first screening in California just a week ago, and I was talking about the movie, and I saw a picture of of Paul and I mm. was affected a little bit and started to get choked up a little bit. And someone in the audience yelled, you got family here, Vin. Oh. And I thought, that's so powerful. And that's such a testament to what we do mm -hmm. and, and, and what we bring to the table. And I think the world just appreciates that kind of brotherhood and that kind of camaraderie and that mm. kind of family that they see only in this, in this franchise. And it, when it goes off the screen, it's really special. I don't think there was any better way to honor him. It was such, it was graceful, it was classy, it was elegant, it was, it was everything that it needed to be. And I think, I don't think there's one person that's going to disagree with that when they see the ending of this film. And I'm just extremely happy of the way it was creatively done. We all knew that it was our job to leave a legacy for someone we love and someone the world loved. And that's why the ending is as precious as it is. Mm -hmm. Vin, do you want to lead us in a toast as you do as the sort of father <laughs> figure of this family? I'm just happy that I've got a, a team like the team we've got here. And uh, without this team, none of this would have happened. I love all of you. And I'm just grateful that we're all here. <laughs> yes. Yes. To love and family. 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 Yes. family. Yes. family. Well, it should be pointed out that before Paul Walker died, he had completed 85% of the film. And once Vin Diesel and the rest of the cast got the blessing of Walker's family, they felt they needed to go on. They needed to finish the film for Paul's legacy and his fans. And we're going to have much more with the cast coming up in our next hour as well. He wanted everything to be, like, perfect, you know what I mean, in a sense. Like, he wanted every relationship to be the best. He wanted every, you know, uh, film decision and every business decision to be the best. And he wouldn't be okay with it. Even if it came out great, he would worry about it, you know. And he had really high standards. And I think that's the thing that would put him in those, you know, semi, you know, complicated, you know, perspective. He'd always say, like, I wanted to be a park ranger, you know, make 28 grand a year and, like, live in the wilderness. That's really what he wanted to do. My daughter, my surfing, that's the light. When you start realizing like how much weight and pressure is on these people that are like living a life that is so unnatural in every possible way, that are away from families, that are surrounded by yes people, that are telling them how amazing and beautiful and perfect they are every two seconds. Yeah. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, I think that's what, you know, people are, you've only ever heard great things about Paul, but that's, that's really like, Kind of the, because yeah. that's that's how he was. What are you smiling about, dude? I almost had you. <laughs> and it really, I think it, it affected a lot of people because they think, how could the world take someone like Paul, who gives so much and is such a beautiful person and such a bright spirit, away like that? So, I mean, he lived an amazing life, but I think he had so much more that he wanted to achieve. So it's really, it was really sad, but it's. Uh, I can remember that day, I can remember the moment I found out, and it's, it's interesting to be here five years later talking about it.